hi again. Um, I know I posted your other video, but I wanted to address some of the things that you talked about in this video. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but there is no cure for ADD. It's something that you're born with that happens in the womb. And as of right now, there is no cure. So all of these things, these natural ways to suppress the symptoms, um, I don't think would really work. Um, coming from somebody who has ADD, um, I can tell you right now it wouldn't work. Um, my mom, excuse me, um, my mom kept me on a very healthy diet as a child. Um, didn't really have a whole lot of sugary sweets and snacks. They were given in moderation. Um, so that, <laughs> my mom made sure I ate my vegetables and my fruit and my fish I loved and chicken and, you know, all of these things. And, um, I still had ADD. Um, the only thing that helped me was my Ritalin. And, you know, you talked about how Ritalin was um, the same level as, um, opium and meth and all of these highly addictive drugs. I can tell you from experience, I was not addicted to it. Uh, one day I was taking it, the next day I wasn't. No withdrawal. It wasn't like, ooh, ooh, I gotta have Ritalin, I gotta have Ritalin, gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta have it. No. I made the conscious decision to stop it because it wasn't working anymore. I turned 13, my hormones started kicking in, my body chemistry started changing, the prescription wasn't working anymore, there was nothing else other than Ridlin at that point in time, and so I decided it's not working anymore, all I'm left with is the minimal side effects, and so I might as well stop taking it. So I did like that. I mean, literally, one day I took it, the next day I woke up and I told my mom, I don't want to take it. And I didn't. And I haven't. And I haven't been addicted to anything else since. I don't do drugs. I don't take drugs. I've never been addicted to drugs. And let me tell you something. The ADD brain is not chemically balanced the same as a non-ADD brain, caffeine puts me to sleep, okay? Most people, caffeine is a stimulant. That means they're bouncing off the walls all hyper and awake when they're not really awake. The caffeine just makes them, their body think that it is. I drink two to three cans of caffeinated soda to put me to sleep at night. I have one at lunch, one at dinner, and one before I go to bed. And it puts me to sleep. Okay? And that's just the caffeine. I could take, you know those caffeine pills that are supposed to keep you awake for all-nighters? If I were to take one of those, I'd be sleeping for a week. Medicines that say may cause drowsiness? Pop me up. I'm awake bouncing off the walls if I take something like that. So drugs in my system do not work the same. That's why I don't take drugs. I don't drink alcohol. I've never touched a cigarette. I've never touched a marijuana pipe or anything like that. I just choose not to do it because I know it will work differently in my body because I'm ADD. So Ridlin essentially is speed. So, but when taken by the ADD individual, guess what? It calms us down. It focuses our mind. When the non-ADD person takes it, those who abuse Ridlin or Stratera or 
Tourette's concerto or whatever, those who do not have ADD, yes, it will act as though it is speed. That is why non-ADD people want it. And yes, there are some ADD individuals who take advantage of that and sell their medication. Does that mean it should be banned for those who don't abuse it? The number of people who do abuse it, compared to the number of people who take it responsibly, <laughs> those who take it responsibly outweigh those who abuse it. Ever heard of the phrase, uh, the few ruin it for the many? Yeah, th those are the few that you were talking about, not the many. You know, like the cheerleaders and the people trying to pull all-nighters. I don't know. It's just... You seem as though you have done a lot of research on one side, but you haven't looked at the other side. You haven't talked to people who have taken the medication. Because I can tell you, all the years I've been ADD, and all the years that I have met people who are ADD, not once, not once, in my entire 21 years of life, have I ever met anybody who is ADD and addicted to their medication. Never. So saying that it's addictive is not true. It is false. That is a lie you are feeding the public. It's not true. An ADD medication does work. Side effects? Yes, there are some. And, you know, when drug companies do their testing for the medication and when the FDA tests medication and, you know, gives one person the pill and another placebo, and then, you know, says, what are your side effects? They are obligated by law to list every single side effect, even if it was just one person who experienced that one side effect. Because I can tell you, I never had diarrhea. Never. When I was on it. I mean, unless it was caused by, like, an illness, like the flu or whatever, but I mean because of the medication? No. Never. So, you need to get your facts straight. You need to talk to people who have actually taken the medications you're talking about. You know, I mean, why spout off about something you don't really know all that about or only know one side of? You need to research the other side so that, you know, you're a little unbiased. Because you seem to be one-sided. Because, honey, I've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, sold it on eBay. Ridlin works. Up until puberty, at least for me. I'm going to look into getting more medication. Different medication. It's going to be trial and error, I'm sure. But it's going to work for me, because trust me, not taking medication has not worked. I've even tried holistic things. Hasn't worked. Worked for maybe two seconds. And that's because I was probably just convincing myself it was, you know? But it wasn't really. Never worked. So, you can spat off whatever you want to say, but just know. You think you know, but you have no idea, honey. <laughs>